Like Paul said, real bad scraps happen over the littlest. Actors in Terrace, British Columbia, rehearsed for the play Bunk Number no. Seven. So they'll be ready to go on a British Columbia tour the night before the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. We live in a tumultuous time, in a time where truth is not always as it seems. And to bring a little bit of truth to Canadians' eyes is something that I am definitely passionate about and, you know, ready to take on the stage and the road. Written by the late Larry Ganu, Bunk Number no. 7 is based on his real-life experience at Edmonton Indian Residential School in the 1960s. According to director Marianne Brewup Weston, the play was set to be released in Toronto more than a decade ago, but it hit major barriers after Gnu's death. Larry passed away um, in 2005, very, very suddenly. So the play was put on hold for a number of years. I did a play reading tour with at-risk at youth and IRS survivors in 2008 to gather information because the play wasn't completely finished. Born in the Niska village, get like Damix. Larry Gnu is described as charismatic and driven. His sister, Kim Gnu, says their parents always talked about the importance of education, and their family was pleased when he graduated law school. We were just so proud of him, you know. I was just amazed at what he could do, and this is what he kept putting through to our, um, our family and to young people, you know. You can do anything you want. You know, put your mind to it, focus, you know, be prepared to sacrifice. Kim says her brother overcame many barriers, including residential school. His time there was something he didn't talk about. She thinks this play was part of giving voice to himself and his classmates. This play was a way for Larry to share with people what happened to them. And it was his voice. And it was the voice of the other young boys that were in that school. Kim's husband, Dale Good, says bunk number seven was meant to be the first chapter of many, and that Larry Gnu wanted other survivors to add additional chapters by telling their own stories. He said there are many chapters that have to be told, and his was only one of them, which bunk number seven is about. It's just the one chapter of in thousands. Of, uh, what needs to be heard. Bunk number seven features a scene where the boys riot against the poor conditions at the school. Rolf Weston believes the play holds a timely message after the recent discovery of unmarked graves at residential schools across Canada. Uh, they found a way to um, even form a little government of their own so that they could make life better. Um, and to tell that story in the face of all the tragedy, I think is going to be huge. Brought to audiences by the Raven Collective, which includes GNU's family, Bunk Number no. 7 will start its tour at the R.E.M. Lee Theatre. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Terrace.